Russia lowered flags to half-mast for a day of mourning and people continued to lay flowers on Sunday in memory of those gunned down at a rock concert outside Moscow. The attack at the 6,200-seat venue on Friday night was the deadliest inside Russia for two decades. More than 130 people were killed when four men, armed with automatic weapons, burst into the Crocus City Hall concert venue. More than 180 were injured in the attack. Russia says it has detained 11 people, including the four gunmen, who fled the scene and made their way to the Bryansk region, about 210 miles southwest of Moscow. Footage released by Russia's investigative committee on Sunday appeared to show the suspects being brought to the committee's headquarters in Moscow. Islamic State have claimed responsibility for the attack. On Saturday night, the group released what it says is footage of the assault on its Telegram channels. President Vladimir Putin has pledged to track down and punish all those behind the incident. But he has not publicly mentioned the Islamist militant group in connection with the attackers, who he said have been trying to escape to Ukraine. Putin asserts that some on the Ukrainian side had prepared to help them get across the border. Ukraine has repeatedly denied any role in the attack, which Putin also blamed on international terrorism. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said it was typical of Putin and, quote, other thugs to seek to divert blame. The White House said the US government shared information with Russia earlier this month about a planned attack in Moscow and issued a public advisory to Americans in Russia on March 7th. It said Islamic State bore sole responsibility for the attack. Russian officials have bristled at public comments made by the US on the attack and say its investigators must be allowed to make their own findings.